Hey there, guys. How's it going? Welcome to Breakfast All Day. I am Christy. That is Alonzo. Because Christmas is coming, we've got your Netflix Christmas movie, Single All the Way, which Alonzo is going to describe to you for a multitude of reasons. The movie that I was born to, to cover, I guess. Pretty it's much. <laughs> Netflix's first gay Christmas movie. Uh, Michael Yuri and Philemon Chambers star as uh, Peter and Nick. They are best friends. They share an apartment in Los Angeles. Uh, for years, Peter's family has been like, why do you two guys get together? You're so perfect for each other. And they're like, what? No. Um, and so when yet another one of uh, Peter's uh, relationships uh, self-destructs right before Christmas, he does take Nick home for the holidays. And the, do, the two of them do start maybe thinking of each other in that way, but a couple of complications occur. One, Peter is afraid that if they go for the romance and then it doesn't work out, he will be without his best friend and that would be devastating. Also, Peter's mom, played by Kathy and Jimmy, has set him up on a blind date with James, played by uh, Hallmark hunk Luke McFarlane, who... <laughs> Uh, unlike most of the times of the Baxters in these romantic comedies is great. Um, <laughs> he's a skier. He's a personal trainer, nice guy, good sense of humor, like not terrible. So Peter could conceivably wind up with this guy because he does kind of want to move back home to New Hampshire rather than stay in Los Angeles. But what about Nick? And Nick's so awesome. And Nick maybe is finally realizing that he's in love with Peter. What will they do? And will they resolve it? <laughs> in time for Christmas. So um, many questions, like it's, it, it could go in any direction, really. Yeah, which is, <laughs> which is a nice surprise. I mean, like part of the, part of the baked in appeal of the Hallmark Christmas movies, you know exactly where it's going. You know, all the beats. Uh, my joke is that it's ideal, you know, nursing home television, because you could fall asleep in the middle of one of them and wake up in the middle of the next one and still know exactly where you are in the plot. <laughs> but this one throws a few curveballs out, which is, again, the ending is pretty inevitable, but still it's the getting there that matters. So this Luke McFarlane dude, I was looking at his IMDb and he's like, a uh, Hallmark hunky staple, right? He he's is. done a lot of these. Yeah, and he's going to be the love interest in Billy Eichner's gay rom-com Bros next year, which I'm very excited about. Oh, is he gay? He is. He okay. and Wentworth He and Wentworth Miller, who wrote your favorite movie, Stoker, Ooh. have been a couple for several years now. Very, very hunky couple. Yes, I was, I was looking at his IMDb page. He's done like Christmas in my heart, <laughs> Chateau Christmas, Oh, he deviated here a Valentine's match. It's a different holiday. He did a shoe addict's Christmas, mm -hmm. Karen Kingsbury's Maggie's Christmas miracle. <laughs> There's a theme. The so, mistletoe promise. <laughs> he's very handsome in like a generic kind of non-threatening way, right? Like he's like muscular and tall and good looking. It has a, a beautiful deep voice, but like, you know, he's also really pleasant. Yeah, I, I really like Michael Urie in this. And I'm trying to think of what I have seen him in before because he's uh, really funny. Did you watch Ugly Betty? No. Okay, he was the sort that. of he was the sidekick to the Vanessa Williams character. He's uh, he's been in stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, he he was in um, in L.A. He did that play about the guy who works for Barbara Streisand and manages the mall under her house. <laughs> That's really funny. Anyway, he he cracked me up because he's he's got the effervescent flamboyant personality, but that's not all that there is to him. Like no. he's he's quick and witty and he and Philemon Chambers have a really lovely chemistry. That's Philemon Chambers first film, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I think he's, yeah. he's done like a short before this. This is his first feature. He's amazing. I don't know. He's incredibly handsome is, and charismatic. Yeah. yeah, I want to see him in more stuff. He's beautiful. And of course, you can't go wrong with like Barry Boswick and Kathy Najimy being wacky parents. Yeah. yeah. So and Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> oh, and Jennifer Coolidge. And I, I laugh quite a bit at the ridiculousness of her pageant that she puts on. So, okay, compared to the multitude of Hallmark Christmas movies, mm. is this better? Is this worse? Is this about the same? Because I, I actually really enjoyed this. I thought it was kind of pleasant. It's definitely better. Uh, yeah. The thing about Hallmark rom-coms is that they're not, entirely comms and in, in that they are almost never funny <laughs> uh you know like it's a funny situation and there might be the occasional one-liner but they don't really like push the comedy this movie is funny yeah. this movie has funny people in it and and they they you know the the situations are are amusing and um you know it, it is 
hella gay, you know, that yeah. which is which I, I, I'm definitely <laughs> down for here. Uh, so, you know, yes, it has a lot of the same limitations of the Hallmark Christmas movie. And I think if this is a genre that you roll your eyes at, this is necessarily the movie that's going to win you over. But I think it's got a lot of charm. And it's, are you really going to, Dave White? Hi, Dave. In on this review. Hi, now. cutie. Look what? who it is. I, fu I fucking hate Hallmark Christmas movies. And I sat through this entire thing. And I louder. I want to hear more. Louder. I can't hear you. You got to scoot in. I said, I fucking hate Hallmark Christmas movies. And I sat through this whole thing and I laughed. So there you go. It's cute, right? They have nice chemistry. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. I, 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 you know, look, that's, that's the, that's the biggest seal of approval you're ever going to get for one of these movies. So. <laughs> Curmudgeonly Dave White actually <laughs> enjoyed it. That's great. Yeah. yeah. I liked it too. It's, it's, um, it looks like it was shot in Montreal or somewhere in Quebec because it's a whole lot of French Canadian names in the credits. <laughs> but actual snow, which is nice because when they fake it, that can be annoying. Uh, that it seemed like it was genuinely wintry everywhere they were, and uh, you know, a, a fun uh, cast. The uh, the the woman I, I should have her name in front of me who played the mayor's wife on uh, on Schitt's Creek is in it, and um, yeah, I just generally speaking, I thought this was. A lot of fun. Directed by Michael Mayer, written by Chad Hodge. Yeah, Michael Mayer did, uh, well, he did Spring Awakening on Broadway, and he did that um, that Grey Gardens movie that had uh, Jessica Lange and Drew Barrymore. Oh, show. oh, yeah. Like, it's it's light, and it's sunny, and it's fun, and I enjoyed their chemistry, and I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this. Um, I think they should have it's hella gay as their tagline. <laughs> Cause I guess it probably is like potentially a, a shocking groundbreaking thing. Yeah, I mean, you know? there have been some other ones. There's a company called Tello that's put out several lesbian Christmas movies. Lifetime last year did a movie called The Christmas Setup that was really charming with a real life couple and the and, and Fran Drescher is the supportive mom. Uh, so it's- Happiest uh, Season was last year too. Happy Remember Happiest Season? Happy was season? last year too, That was absolutely. cute. Yeah, so there's, you know, there's been a growing number of, of queer Christmas movies. But yeah, I think this was just very sweet and charming. And, uh, you know, if, if this is your jam in December and you like to have something like this, whether you're actively watching it or just sort of in the background while you're wrapping presents or whatever like uh, this is a good one you should check yes. it out. yes so i'm saying 7.8 i said 8.8 .8, and to be clear i mean 8.8 .8 on a on a made for cable slash streaming christmas movie scale uh which is <laughs> you know don't go comparing it to what i said about like benedetta or whatever but nonetheless <laughs> this, is, this is really terrific and people should check it out 8.3 is our number. Single all the way is on Netflix. It certainly is. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on uh, the social media at BeFast All Day. And why not subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash BeFast All Day. A lot of fun stuff going on over there, including our TV recaps. Right now we're talking about Disney Plus's Hawkeye and uh, Hulu's The Great and uh, lots of other exclusive material that only our subscribers get. So you should be one of them. Thanks for watching. Have have a great week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.